So I've been making some changes to uh, this sprite editor and uh, tile map tool. Um, and uh, if you're coming to this for the first time, it's useful to go to the usage uh, tab and just look at what the uh, keyboard shortcuts are um, and the kind of things that you can do uh, in there as well. Um, but the uh, first couple of things I've done is allow you to rotate the sprite. So I'm just hitting the R key um, and you can do a horizontal mirror uh, and a vertical mirror using V and H. Um, but the bulk of the changes are in uh, the tile map. So it's this area that's changed. Um, the tile maps now take um, dimensions. So before it was static to 16 by 12. Um, I do, it doesn't support uh, eight pixel sprites yet. That's gonna take a bit more work um, just because of the way that this, uh, this whole tool works. Um, but uh, thanks to uh, Rob Utley, I've got a load of uh, debug sprites here so we can get an idea of uh, what our tile map looks like. Um, and I can go ahead and kind of draw a thing along here. Um, so let's use seven for the time being. Um, and that's my initial sprite map. And if you've got a sprite map from this tool already, you can upload it directly um, and it'll pre-populate this, but you can also then resize it. So I can go up to uh, uh, 32 squares by uh, 12. Um, and we could put in a, I don't know, a different shade over here. Let's put the wall just here. Um, and what I can do as well is I can download this um, as a map file. So let's call this wide.map. Um, it'll go into my downloads file, uh, download directory. If I come back to this tool uh, later on, um, let's just load that back up. I can drag and drop or even upload the map, um, drag and drop the wide into this, this tile map section here. Um, and it will also adjust the height and width correctly um, to the tile map size. Um, so now we can go ahead and actually use this. I'm gonna just get up uh, my Visual Basic, Visual Studio rather. Um, so I'm using a Next Basic extension that I wrote, which gives me syntax highlighting, but also lets me launch C-Spec. Um, and in particular, it copies across all my assets at the same time. So. I'm loading up my uh, sprite file into bank 13. I'm loading up the uh, map into bank 14. Um, and this uh, tile dimensions, I'm choosing bank 14 to read the um, the data that we kind of drew over here. Um, and this is, what are we doing here? We're saying offset zero. We have a tile map that is 32 pixel or 32 tiles wide. Remember, so the width was 32. Um, and we're just going to tile the entire uh, screen. So if I just run that, so we see that that left hand side. If I go to uh, the basic and change the um, the offset to 16, it should start at um, 16 tiles along and run that again. We should see the other side of the tile map. Um, so there it is. Um, so that is, are the changes. Um, have a play. Let me know if there's anything wrong with it, or if there are any uh, kind of obvious features missing, I would love to hear back. Thanks a lot.